Howdy guys. Uh, went out last night with the um, full size Sky Hunter with the folding rear booms. Uh, worked out really well actually. Uh, quite surprised um, what I could get away with actually. The, I did a couple of loops. I said I did a lot of snaking around to try and put as much stress on those plastic um, 3D printed parts as possible. And it came back fine. I was, I was, me and Austin were really surprised that it actually worked. To be fair, because the stress is involved and stuff, although quite light, with that much um, lever to the elevon, uh, elevator, sorry. But it is quite a small elevator, so I don't know if that had something to do with it. But yeah, she locked in position. She was in probably less than a minute to get it flight ready. And uh, away she went. I even did a, a single, single hand, well, single person launch. Now, should we try the one person launch? Could do, can we? What's possibly go wrong with that? Well, you got it all, you got it all dialed in, so yeah. there should be no reason why you can't. I'll keep out your effing way, because you know. Stabilize on. done for that. Oh, mind the shed. So I've put a hole in the bottom so you can actually put your finger in it like that. Don't know if it's coming out on the camera well. So and that's just about, um, there's a carbon rod inside the middle there and the carbon rod stopped at the end of the hole. I originally put the hole there obviously because of C of G and stuff and the two original finger holes so you can actually get quite a good hold of it if you're on your own to launch. Obviously, be careful of the prop and stuff, but the um, fuselage is deep enough, so the prop is actually about an inch higher than the actual um, fuselage. So, as you launch, if you keep, if you follow through with your hand, um, you should be fine. Uh, having that said, it is quite a heavy model, obviously, with a ten thousand. We've got a Multistar ten thousand four S pack in there. And she was a uh, quite a weight, obviously, and I am planning to put um, how she run with two of those in, so that'll be twenty thousand for us, um, and see what sort of flight times I was getting, what what I could get out of it. The I think I had about twenty five minutes out of it last night. It came down with thirty six percent left in the battery pack, but I was giving it full beans, trying to break it basically. So. Um, I wasn't very, it wasn't doing a flight efficiency test as it were. So I'll just zoom in onto the, the 3D printed parts and show you what I've done. So what we've got here is the 3D printed part which I put on Thingiverse on MogX uh, Matt's channel or Matt's Thingiverse account. Um, I put some masking taper on there just so if the carbon starts to split because obviously I've cut it and it's the fibrous it's not the rolled type so it is liable, liable to um, split so what I've done I've put wrapped some tape insulation tape around there just to just in case it starts to split with the stresses and strains but again no problem and I've also added get the camera in the right place I've also added a metal plate there and I've glued it on with uh, some epoxy Basically, just to as the screws, so there's more surface area. Basically, acting like a large washer, so the actual screw has got more pinch point along the out the radius of the um, the 3D printed part. I'll just come around the other side. Do apologise if this is starting to mess up, but yeah, she actually locked in, folded over really nicely. I'm probably said in the other in the never part of the video. Um, 38, 35, 4805, that's quite an old Overlander V2, Overlander Thumper, and that's 890 kV, and I think that's 11 by 7 prop. Yep, 11 by 7 prop on the back there, running for us. So, uh, <laughs> put it back up there. I've um, I've put a cut. I've, uh, 
I'll cut some clips to the flight footage. I had a, a Mobius on the wing video in the booms um, and I had a Mobius on the front so you'll see me do a couple of loops there's lots of swanning around to try and put as much stress on it as possible because obviously I think you did a couple of dives as well full power dives and then pulling up to a vertical climb um, still no problem it didn't quite go vertical it wasn't unlimited vertical but it was pretty close to it so yeah it eventually ran out of place and did a couple of stall tests. Uh, it's always good to know what your model's going to do if you do tend to stall it. In all, it just it just it just floated down to gain speed again. It didn't tip stall or didn't roll over or anything. There's no nastiness there. So very pleased with the model. Um, and obviously, there's been a lot more footage of it. Now I can launch it on my own. It's possibly going the clouds is possibly possibly going to get downgraded, and I'll put the gear in this one. As I say, I can launch it on my own, um, and it's, it can take the same sort of payload. So, uh, thumbs up for the uh, full-size Sky Hunter. So, I'll, I'll cut to a couple of clips now, and I'll uh, see you later. Bye. All right, and this is going to be the maiden or remaiden of the full-size Sky Hunter. Um, slight modification on the rear booms. We've done it so it's folding. Well, I've done it so it's folding. Um, Get down there, off a bit closer. Well, I've zoomed in, mate. So you've got a 3D printed hinge inside the boom, and that folds over. So these winglets tuck in nearer the front to make it half the size, basically half the length. Um, plenty of cameras stuck on it. Um, one on the wing to record it snapping in half. Um, one on the front just to get some good views of us actually get up there. Spiralling out of control. Spiralling out of control and... Yeah. If you had another one you could put another one on the um, tail. Yeah. If you had a third one. Well, I'm going to put a GPS tracker in it because you'll make sure you're filming the right things, didn't you Ast? Yeah. <laughs> GPS tracker it so I know where the bits land. <laughs> well, where that GPS la tracker yeah. lands. Yeah, so I was just going to chuck that in there. That'd be in there somewhere. So what's in the... Um, what we got power in it? 10,000 4S pack uh, in the Zeners, uh, FY41 controller, GPS, a 354805 Overlander, uh, the Thumper V2, uh, nine, uh, 890 kV. That seemed, seemed to pull like last time, right? How many FPV cameras? Um, one on the pan and tilt, one in the nose, and a third one going somewhere else at some point. Or possibly not, depending on how this goes. Right, so we're live on that. Camera's on. Right, they're both on. Surface check. I ain't cut any of the cables then. Are you folding? Yeah. The rudder doesn't work, so that's probably fucked. Oh, the rudder don't work? No. I don't need it anyway, so. Alright, oh, rudders are weird anyway. Satellites, who do leap? Tape needs cutting. Does a bit, doesn't it? We got, I think, ready to rock. So we're now going to cut to the uh, onboard footage. See you in the air. So now the onboard footage. <laughs> Are you um, chucking it? Well, no, that does actually feel quite nice in the hand, actually. Is it? Did yeah, I feel that. No, no, you, I've not chucking it the first time. Maybe the second time. <laughs> when it hasn't snapped in half. That's all right, isn't it? It does actually feel quite nice in the hand, doesn't it? Yeah. Just gonna rev up first. All right, I'll hold the nose. Yeah, that is the right way. It was pushing forward. Watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's no wind, is there? It is. It's coming over the edge again. Is it? Don't bother taking the string down. Anymore. I wasn't going to bother. 
We ain't got any short asses here. So run and throw. Okay. Try and get as level as possible. It's got the stabilizer on, but possibly you're gonna need to lock down this one. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we have the lesser spotted FPV in his natural habitat, the middle of a field, waiting for his plane to fly past. Uh. Yeah, just about. I don't know, have you done a dive and a pull up? Is that a loop the loop? I tell you what, I think they're alright. If you're doing loop the loops in them. Big old plane, isn't it, with that bloody. Um, <laughs> 10,000 10, million. Yeah. Always the Valkyrie didn't give away then. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Mobius on the wings making that wing that a heavier side now. Is it? It's been hanging around loads, is it? No, it's chat yet. Isn't it? Jesus. Now. Maybe yank the fucker up. Yeah, them booms are strong enough. If that was full chat and you've just gone vertical. Chat. Yeah, it doesn't have quite enough power to pull itself up to vertical, but not an endless vertical. No. I'll let it settle down and see how slow she go. Right, slowing down, pulling up to see if it stalls. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. Drops like a curtain. See how it did a, it dropped out level? Yeah. Keep losing it with the clouds. I ain't got the clouds up yet. No, as in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pulling up. I kill you last. Pulling up. Yeah, no funny. Oh, lost it. No funny uh, tip stall or anything, it just drops out. Yeah. It's going a bit sideways, but the wind is coming from that direction, isn't it? So it's pushing the tail around a little bit. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a rudder on it. You can put them in. There's holes in the, uh, there's gaps in the tails, isn't there? Yeah. I don't know whether you'd put two. I'm higher than the tree. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm good at flying below trees. Line of sight. So I think that's a... I think that's successful. Have you tried landing it yet? No. <laughs> Do you want to try that first? Yeah. What, before we class it's successful? Yeah. Try go out that way and come in. Whatever way you want to land. Well, it's a side, sideways wind anyway, so it would make a difference which way it land, would it? No. Right. Line of sight right. landing. 
Oh, lost you again. Stupid. Yeah, if nose on is quite small. Like a glove. Like grease Sorry. off, wasn't it? What was that? Motor's lukewarm. ESC. See if I can get at it. Can't get at it. Oh, yeah. VTX is cold. Where is it? Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Cold. Quality. So the 80 amp ESC is working well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pan and tilt. Looked like a gaffer, but worked well. Um. Yeah. It's in the air, and you've done it all on your own. Yeah. A lot easier than the clouds. Bye-bye.